Kenny Britt out with a torn ACL and a torn MCL, uh, despite the injury. Uh, Britt's contributions last week uh, or this season so far have helped the Titans to a 2-1 and one record. Matt Hasselbeck, their quarterback. Who's he going to throw to? What's up for the Titans? How good can they be? How good are they? We check back in with our good buddy Jimmy Morris from Music City Miracles here on the Pulse Network on Sports Buzz. Hi, Jimmy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Last time we spoke, it was all about uh, Chris Johnson. But now right. it's all about your football team was 2-1. and one. Yeah. I mean, you know, this is, this is kind of when we looked at the schedule uh, early on. We, we, this kind of looked like best-case scenario. Uh, two and one of these first three. Funny that they did it a different way than we all thought they would, <laughs> losing at Jacksonville and then beating the Ravens. Uh, we we kind of had those flip flops, but um, yeah, I mean, you got to be pretty pleased with where they are, especially. I mean, we were all we were all pretty hot coming out of the preseason that they had shown a lot of signs and stuff, and then we went out of Jacksonville and just kind of looked awful. So we were, we, were, we went from pretty hot to pretty low, and now we're kind of just back back to really where we thought we'd be. Kenny Britt's injury. Uh, Jim Wyatt tweeting out that he's going to be out for the year. Yeah. Um, big blow, big blow to the Titans, oh, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, and, and last year, if you look back at, at what happened, the, the team started five and two, and then Kenny Britt went down. Well, I guess they were five and three when he went down with the with the hamstring injury in San Diego, and they went on a six game losing streak. Now there was obviously a lot more that went into that. You, you had the whole Vince Young meltdown and all that stuff too. But um, Kenny Britt is one of those special guys, and oh, I mean, we keep saying if he can ever put together a full season, he'll he'll start to be in that conversation with the league's elite wide receivers. But you know, he just for whatever reason can't get it right. And this time, I mean, a lot of a lot of his stuff that's happened before has either been off the field trouble or you know muscle injuries that a lot of times were because of him not being in shape. You know, this is just one of those fluke things that happens in football. And so now, you know, he, he's obviously going to miss the year, and you know, hopefully he'll be back ready for next season. But they're going to have to. I mean, they're going to have to try to try to find a way to replace him, and it, it's going to be tough to do with the group that they've got. Well, let's talk about the group they got. Who who does replace Kenny Britt? Well, I mean, it's obviously going to have to be by committee. Nate Washington has been the two. He's been playing really well, um, but he's kind of had some trouble being that number one guy. So we'll see how he does with, with all the focus on him. Uh, after that, I mean, you're looking at guys like Damian Williams and Lavelle Hawkins, guys that if you don't follow the Titans closely, you might not have even ever heard of, or at least not since they were in college. Um, they're going to have to step up. They're going to probably look at using Jared Cook, the tight end, in, in some more wide receiver type situations because, I mean, he's probably really closer to a wide receiver than he is a tight end anyway. Um, but, I mean, they're going to have to, you know, kind of do it by committee. They'll bring a guy in at some point this week. I would imagine wouldn't be surprised if it's Justin Gage, a guy they cut, you know, three weeks ago just because he knows the system. He's a, he's a decent guy. Um, he's a good run. He's a good block down the field. But, you know, if you're a receiver, and that's the best thing anybody can say about you, it's obviously not really good, but um, I mean, I, I, there's not a lot out there. It's not like they're they're not going to. Everybody on Twitter is like, "Oh, get Randy Moss, get Terrell Owens, get Hush Gonzada." You know, there's reasons. That, there's a reason that got, those guys are on teams. So they're going to have. They're not going to be able to find anybody that's going to replace Kenny Britt. They're just going to have to hope that they can get that committee to step up and, and play as well as they possibly can. 